Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will talk about a bit data manipulation in Tableau. So in this video I will show you guys that how you can compute new variables in Tableau and then I will show you guys that how you can uh, manipulate calculations within the graph. So for this video I have one text file that I will first upload into Tableau. So actually this is the file that I want to use for this video. So I will open it up and this is actually the data. And suppose if I go to my sheet one, as you can see, I have dimensional variables and major variables separate in separately into two categories. But suppose if I want to create a new variable, suppose if I want to create a new variable which will be capturing the log of prices so in order to add that i will if i do right click in the first option you can see but make sure that you do right click when when your cursor is over dimension and measures so if there is an option which is the create calculated field so i will click that so now there will be a new sheet a new dialog box will appear so this calculation one is actually will be the variable name so i want to rename it as log price and here i will write down my calculation so suppose there are built-in functions which you can also get it from on the your right hand side so as i want to do log of price so i will write down a log and Tableau will automatically give you some options. So this is the function that I want to use. And within these bracket, I won't have to mention the variable that I want to put. So I will, I will write price. And if, as you can see that uh, Tableau is giving me the price variable option, which is actually here, I will enter it. And now, so when you write, call the, existing variable the tableau will write those existing variable within these brackets so if i say okay now so as you can see the tableau have added a new uh, numeric variable for me which is log price and even if i go to my data source now you can see that i have this variable in my uh, data browser too uh, and in the same way Suppose if I want to use uh, square root or if I want to cre create a variable which will be uh, capturing the square root of this length variable, the same I, what I will do, I will do the right click, create calculated field, then I will write down the name of that variable which will be the square root of uh, length. And then I will put it come here and then I will write down the formula that will compute the uh, compute do the calculation and then assign those values to here to this new variable so I will write down uh, a square root and then uh, the variable that I want to use is this length then I will use length enter now you can see that my variable is appearing in this bracket and if I set OK, so Tableau have added a new variable. And if I go to data source and if I make it fit on the right side, you can see that uh, we have a new variable square root of length, even can see in my data view. So what happening is that Tableau is actually coming to this cell first, then taking uh, under root of this value and uh, assigning the final result here and then coming to the second row taking this value making taking the under root of this value and then assigning the resultant value here but if you guys have noticed that in my calculation I have just used one variable but you can also use multiple uh, variables for a uh, in order to compute a new variable so for that I will just going to make a hypothetical uh, calculation for you guys with multiple variables involved so I will say I will just calling it test variable 
test war and here what I will do I will call different function different variables so suppose if I want to use log and then I'm calling my price variable and after that I'm adding square root uh, here this is example it, this example is just hypothetical example where I will use different num multiple number of variables with different functions to assign to a single variable and then I will suppose using length and then I'm adding suppose this trunk variable separately without any function so if I do that so even that uh, uh, w haven't given us error and have also computed this variable so in this example i have sh in the last example of computation i have shown that while creating a new variable you can call multiple variables uh, in your calculation and you can use uh, different uh, functions too but before going further i will go through this create calculate feed and if you look at the right hand side there are there is a broad categories all will show the all the function that tableau built-in function that tableau provides uh, there is a long list you can use maximum median low lower case even there are function for string variables too that these functions are not limited to only numeric variables uh, but uh, you can also but if you come to here if you go to table calculation uh, then there are uh, functions like this these are the important function uh, that uh, one is the script goal integer real and string these functions are very useful when you have to call a script from r so if you are good in r uh, R is a statistical tool which can be used to manipulate data so you can write down your function your code in R and then by using these four functions you can call your uh, script in Tableau 2 but this is a bit advanced uh, you know, advanced topic that how you can call R script or all R code in Tableau Probably in my later videos, if I get a chance, I will go, I will discuss these three, four functions too. But as I said that you can go through these functions according to your need. Uh, and after now what I will do, uh, I will show you guys that how you can even uh, do calculations while, uh, while, while making the graphs. So in order to do that, I will start with my, suppose if I want to draw a bar graph. So I have this foreign variable. I will add. So and then the next, so suppose if I, I want, because in my data, if I go to my data, my actually if I go to my foreign variable, my foreign variable is actually category. Uh, is a categorical variable which is capturing two categories domestic and foreign which is showing that which actually this is a car uh, automobile data so it's showing which car are for domestically made which cars are uh, made in, uh, in foreign countries so suppose if I want to know the price relationship between domestic and foreign cars and my price variable is here and if I do it here, but I want it in another way. Yeah, I want it in a not in horizontal way. And so I want. So I will add my variables again. A price variable, and then I want my foreign variable. But as you can see, this graph is here. But but. Here you can see that my calculations are done by that for each category uh, Tableau is doing sum of prices but I don't want sum of prices I want suppose if I want the mean of prices or the average of prices for domestic and foreign uh, cars then it will be a good comparison so you in, in, order, in order to change your computation you can see that there is a uh, down arrow here if you click it and then you can see that there is a Meyer I don't want to have a Meyer as a sum. And then there is a different 
uh, other functions available uh, average median count uh, count means the number of observation for each domestic and foreign the minimum price the maximum price for domestic and foreign even the standard deviation or variance you can uh, calculate but suppose for here for me average price average is the right function so as you can see now tableau is showing me uh, the uh, average price for domestic cars and the average price for foreign cars another thing that you want can do is that you can label your bars so if i select that bar and do right click and then there is an option mark label uh, and i am saying always shows now you can see that uh, r uh, sorry tableau have labeled the actual value of this bar and in the same way you can also label the second bar too automatic uh, always show so now i have labeled both of my bars even there is a, a again uh, if you go if you if you select the bar and right click uh, there are different options you can annotate it uh, you can add trend lines you can play around with this graph and make it more attractive uh, so this is my first graph so suppose if i want to make another graph uh, so suppose now I want is I want to have a trend line that which that shows me how prices and this trunk variables are related to each other. If I want to see that, so it will show me a trend line. Suppose if I sorry if I select that variable and if I go to show me, suppose if I select it and the other variable that I want is trunk and then I also select it. But here what uh, Tableau is showing me that there is a bar but of price and trunk but this is not the thing that I want. Actually I want a line graph. So suppose if I come to here, if I select line, uh, you can see that even that is not something that I want. Actually I want the relationship between uh, prices and, tr uh, prices and uh, the trunk variable so and this is not the right thing so what what i will do i will first get rid of these things and now i will add my variables so firstly the price and then my trunk variable so now i have uh, these variables but again i'm having my years but i don't want uh, my year here so uh, I will what I will do I will add this thing sum of prices here and then I will add my second variable so but here the thing that you can see what happening is, is that tableau is taking the sum of your trunk variable and then taking the sum of your price variable and just showing the one dot on your chart but this is not the right thing i want to see all the values of price against the values of trunk so for each suppose if i go to my data source what i want is that tableau go to my data and go to my price variable which is this plot the this point as a 4099 with respect to this trunk 40 and then come to here draw, draw a second dot or the second point and then connect those points so that thing I want to do in order to get this thing in order to get the actual values you have to select attributes so and again for this price you don't want sum you want attributes And now if I go to my uh, this marks, I will select line. And now as you can see, this thing is better than what it was before. So this is a bit short overview about how you can do manipulation in, 
in, in data manipulation in Tableau and how you can manipulate your charts. Thank you for watching the video.